Hi everybody, it's Julie, Queen Creator and CEO here at Dear Julie Julie DIY and Dear Julie Julie. Today I have some spring and Easter pillows for you. Very simple and I hope you enjoy. So to start off with, I'm going to make a pillow out of some cloth napkins. And I really liked the edge on these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sew around the outside of these napkins on three sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it on the pillow that I'm gonna be using and show you again. <laughs> We're gonna go around those three sides with some stitching. So all stitched and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and we don't have to turn it inside out. We just have to get it on the pillow. I wanna make sure that the corners are up inside nice and snug and the pillow fits firmly. And I really like the way this turns out. I don't stitch the bottom. I just go ahead and fold my pillow over and there you go. A pillow cover that I can use over and over again. Now for my next pillow, and it's actually gonna be two pillows, I'm going to take this cute little Happy Easter dish towel, and I'm gonna make it so that I can use it for spring and for Easter. So to start off with, I'm gonna turn the towel inside out, and I'm gonna stitch it, as I've shown you, around the edges, leaving a hole in the bottom down where the bunny is. I'm going to cut the edges after we've sewn it, um, cut the corners. And then I'm going to turn it inside out. And starting with the corners, I'm going to pull the corners in, um, all four corners, and get it ready to turn inside out. This pillow is going to be an actual filled pillow and instead of a pillow covering. So there we've turned it inside out, and I'm cutting the strings. And next we're going to go ahead and stuff the pillow. I have a pillow form that I've been using to stuff some of the smaller pillows. And so we're gonna start with that. And again, I'm gonna start with the corners and make sure that they have filling up into the corners. And then I'm gonna fill the rest of the pillow. So after I filled it to where I feel that it's full enough, I'm going to go ahead and stitch it. Oh, wait. First, Midnight is going to let me know that she approves of the pillow. Okay, so I've gotten the cat off the pillow, and now I'm going to go ahead and stitch up the bottom of the pillow. And I'm just going to do a basting stitch all the way across and close the pillow up. Oh, if only I could sew that fast. And next we're ready to make the fluffy bunny tail. I'm using this magnet and wrapping the beautiful yarn that I have. I have a real fluffy yarn around eight times. And then I'm going to tie the through the center on one side across and through the center on the other side tie it around and then tie the two pieces together um, i'm not going to cut the edges off like so i was making it like you would make a pom-pom but i'm not going to cut the edges off Okay, so after I have the little fluffy ball ready, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it onto the bunny where it says we should have a bunny tail. Okay. 
And oh my gosh, this is turning out even cuter than I thought it would. Um, this yarn is absolutely perfect for these little fluffy bunny tails. And there's one side, our happy Easter bunny side of the pillow. And for our other pillow, we're going to go ahead and make it the spring pillow. I've chosen the green um, polka dotted ribbon because it will go even with St. Patrick's Day, which is the other thing that happens um, for my decorating in spring. And so I'm going to go ahead and use a green bow. And you saw I already cut out a flat piece and then I'm going to put a bow over the top so that it covers up the word Happy Easter. It might not bother some people, but I kind of like to keep my holidays separate. So this way I can put this out at spring or even in for winter at the end, after Christmas. Oops, there's that flat piece. And I'm going to fluff the bow and fix it up and cut it down a little bit so it fits better within inside of the long piece. Then I'm going to hand stitch the long flat piece onto the pillow and I'm coming up and my stitching will only show in the white polka dots. So I'm going across the long flat piece and basting it down with my stitching just within the, the polka dots. And then I'll stitch down the bow. Stitching in the center and gathering it in so it looks like a bow. And I love how this looks. And I love that I'll have this pillow for spring and the other side for Easter. So here's a look at both of them on the spring side. And we just turn them over and we have the Easter side. So I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy little look at the pillows I made today on Easter. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when I place other videos. Have a great day. Bye.